All right, today we're going to work on our sugar skulls. Um, we should be able to get them finished today. If not, we can use some time next week to get them finished. Um, I have two different types of Sharpies. I've got thin ones and thick ones. I like the thick ones better for this project, but you might want the thin ones if you have some small um, details to fill in on your sugar skull. So all you're going to do is kind of pick out the colors you want, and you can go through and trace your sugar skull with your Sharpie. Um, and then you can just use whatever colors you would like to fill in your sugar skull um, and design it the way you like. So I'm just kind of going around. And again, be careful not to dig your fingernails or anything into the foil or else you'll just leave um, little imprints all over it. So I'm going to kind of trace in and then color in my sugar skull. Um, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Um, while I color this in, but just kind of pick out the colors you like. Sugar skulls are usually bright colors, so you might want to pick out some of the bright colors to use on your sugar skull. In the background, if you want to make like a pattern in the background or design in the background, you are more than welcome to do that as well. Um, Make sure that you don't put your hands on there until it dries. It takes just a second to dry, but right after you color, it's wet for a minute, and if you put your hand in it, it might smear a little bit. And like I said, whenever you're done, if you want to put a background on your sugar skull, you can. Um, and then just kind of design it with the colors that you like. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with on your sugar skull.